a lot of possession to the Reno defenders. Brown, ball falls, shot, and a goal! What a beauty! As the Monarchs concede their first. And that was a rocket. Miscommunication oh. in the back. Guys don't know where they should be. Ball falls down to the Reno players at the top of the 18. An excellent finish. What a goal scored there. That's where you want to be, uh, hosting as many games as possible in the postseason. Yeah, I'll let you commentate this real quick. Apodoca! Aiden Apodoca! And Reno's running away now. It's four to two. The super substitute, Ian Russell, looks really smart right now, putting him on. Just a great finish here. Takes it with his right, puts it back across the frame of the goal. Galindo. Chest down by Herzog. Mendiola going over the top, trying to find Abdaga. Does Abdaga kicks it over? And Abdaga has found the equalizer in the 71st minute. Comes on a sub and now puts his team on the board with their second goal, tying things up. But a lovely ball knocked in for Mendiola and the keeper. Maybe a touch slow to come off his line, but not much he can do. It's a good finish. And we said all along this Reno side can score goals more than two per game. And they've eventually scored. They had the chances earlier on. Now they're taking them. And we be headed away. The strike for the try of a strike. And now it's onside. It's going to be Apodaca, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he wins. Excellent goal from Reno as Apodaca gives them back the lead, 2-1. Lost to Vegas, where Vegas was constantly hitting on the counter. It happens again. It looked like... A little bit short there to Marlon Roberts, the defender of judge to have given the penalty away in the 14th minute here. And here is the man who was fouled for two, and he does. It's a brilliant goal. It's an excellent effort from Apodaca. He scores. It's now the Tulsa Roughnecks nil, Reno 18-68-2. Excellent job of getting behind the ball and, and trapping that ball. And sure enough, a quick win and a counter. And